Hey guys, what's up? My name is Manny and this is Recreational 420. And this is gonna be the second video in my social media for cannabis series. Um, today we're gonna to focus on Instagram mainly. Um, actually, we're only gonna focus on Instagram, so let's get right into that. And with that, what we're gonna start with is, again, I'm gonna give you guys my disclaimer. I am not an expert in this field. I'm just going to give you guys the stuff that's kind of worked for me. Um, and I'm also gonna give you guys a little bit of theory behind what I think might work. And then over the next 30 days, what's gonna happen is, I'm just gonna try the theory that I tell you guys I, I would do um, and see what happens. I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, um, worst case scenario, I was completely wrong. I don't grow that much, but I can promise you I'm not gonna drop in followers by doing what I'm about to do. Um, it's just something that, <clears throat> I, I, this video was like a day late just because I've been kind of thinking and I've been thinking like, dude, you're not an expert. You don't know a lot, but you know enough to kind of like grow yourself and maintain. You've been able to build this little following on your own. So it's not like you're completely clueless to the situation, but like I just wanted to make sure I didn't come off like this guy who knows everything because I'm really just like everybody else. We're all just trying to figure it out. With that, let's go ahead and hop into the whole Instagram thing. So number one, uh, one of the biggest things that I keep hearing is the word shadow ban. So that's something that happens, quote unquote, and this is the theory. It happens when you use things that are considered, you know, um, what, are the, what is that called? Spammy by Instagram, whether it's the follow hashtags or the hashtags that are blocked because, so if you ever go into like the hashtags and you click on them, you can go through all the posts that are tagged with that. Um, if you go under the weed one specifically, and I know this one because this is the one I remember. Um, if you go under weed, you start scrolling up and you'll see that at the bottom of that page, you actually get to the bottom and at the bottom it'll say, um, this hashtag was deemed inappropriate according to Instagram's like, you know, company guidelines or what have you. What that means is whenever you use that tag, there's a possibility that your kind of, your post gets a little bit, you know, put put down into the rankings a little bit just because uh, it is considered it is something that insta is tagged by instagram as being inappropriate and they don't want to promote more stuff that's inappropriate that kind of makes sense right so that leads me into what i would consider the biggest factor now so this whole new algorithm thing um, a lot of it sounds like bs to me and the only reason i say that is because a bunch of the stuff that they say like don't use more than five hashtags blah 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 they have all these things but if you go through and you you can see see with your own eyes that there's all sorts of evidence of those things not being true so the number one thing that I think personally right now uh, Instagram kind of like prioritizes is personalities so what that means is um, basically the way that the, the algorithm is designed is it's going to give you what you want like no matter at this point the algorithm is set up to give the viewer so your audience what they want to see so if you're not somebody that they're interacting with on a regular basis you're just not going to be at the top of their feed next time if you want to kind of test this out next time you go on instagram go through and maybe like interact with like four or five of like the your uh, least favorite accounts log off come back in don't log off just get off um wait a good half hour to an hour then come back in and refresh your feed and i can almost guarantee you that a lot of those uh, pages that you went and interacted with are going to be the pages that pop up first and the reason that is is because instagram is going to assume that since you went and interacted with those pages that you now have an interest in those and then you do get a couple of other pages that get peppered in there but if you scroll through you really do see that Instagram kind of feeds you the um, the latest accounts that you want to go visit. So what does that mean for you as a brand and what does that mean for you as a marketer? It means that you have to create posts and things that engage your audience because the more engagement, the more you're gonna grow. Um, and the only, an, the reason I feel like this is true is I have friends <laughs> who I've been kind of like, we've been building this stuff together. Um, I got a couple of friends. They run as the GMO mob. So shout out to the GMO crew. Um, <laughs> I've been peeping your guys' game quite a bit. Um, and basically when the new algorithm changed, these guys were all kind of like struggling, right? They all had about, you know, 700 to 1500 followers. When the new algorithm switched, all of a sudden they had four or five, 600 views. You know views a single per video and then it just kept growing and growing and growing and growing 
And I realize that the reason is they're going around, they're commenting on other people, any comment that gets left behind that gets a reply. Um, any interaction that they have with their people, if there's an interaction, there's a thing. The idea of being able to just make a post, leave it there and hope for the best, those days are gone. You need to be more interactive with your audience, especially if you want to kind of grow and keep on using social media in a free way. There's obviously other ways you can pay for posts to be promoted. Um, I understand the fear with that, especially if you've had accounts closed before, you're like, why would I pay to grow an account that's just gonna get shut down? Go back to the original video that I made. If you follow some most of those guidelines, there's a better chance that you don't and there's less fear of it, so you're able to grow your brand a little bit better through branding or through sponsored ads if that's the way you wanna go. Um, the, the other way, again, is just create a personality out of your brand. Um, if you're a farmer, don't just post you know, pictures of your weed and don't just say this is coming up. Do things like, hey guys, show us what it's like to sit there and trim a, a, a strain. You know, if you have something you're about to trim, cool, show it on social media. If you're about to transfer plants from one bucket to another, that's something that a lot of people aren't doing yet. Show the process of these things and you'll get people that are curious enough to kind of interact with you and ask you questions, thus building your own thing. At least that's my theory. What I'm going to do to follow that <laughs> is, so the way I have my Instagram set out, every three posts, there's going to be two pictures on the side and a video running down the middle. Um, <clears throat> that's called formatting. I don't know if that's important or not. I just like the way it looks aesthetically. So it's just something I've been doing. What I'm going to do is those videos in the middle, I'm going to make them my face and I'm going to start doing as much um, personality entertainer stuff that I can. I don't necessarily know what that means right now, uh, but that's kind of what I'm going to try to do um, over the next 30 days. And then we'll just see how it works. If at the end of 30 days, I haven't grown over uh, a thousand followers, then I'm going to consider it, you know, uh, not a good strategy and I need to try again. So with that, I hope you guys follow this along. Um, this was supposed to be just a five episode thing. And then I was like, you know what? Let's just have people follow me along as I build this thing, if I build this thing. And if I don't, oh, well, I just try again. We're going to keep doing this until we make it anyway. So <laughs> with all that, this has been Recreational 420. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I'll be back again with you guys soon.